Honduras is a violent country that is ruled by a criminal elite and security force involved in drug trafficking, fraudulent elections, illegal seizure of peasant lands, killing peasant leaders like Bertha Casares, exploiting natural resources, and suppressing labor in factories co-owned by ruling elites and transnational corporations. Because there are no alternatives, in October 2018, a caravan of 2,000 Hondurans fled their country. Rather than allowing them to immigrate into the United States, Donald Trump called them criminals and drug dealers instead of their corrupt leaders, and Trump demanded a $5 billion wall to stop these exploited Honduran people fleeing oppression. As he is doing with the Venezuelan President Maduro, Trump could help the Honduran people by seeking the overthrow of President Juan Hernandez. But, as Franklin Roosevelt once said about another Central American dictator, Anastasio Samosa, he may be a bastard, but he's our bastard.